Hello YouTube world. This is going to be a really quick video and I wanted to point out how often I'm now seeing Satan mentioned in the mainstream media. You know, really the last few years, I would never ever notice Satan being mentioned in the mainstream media. And now we're seeing it mentioned constantly. And it's kind of odd to me because the mainstream media in the last few years has done its best to never mention Satan, to act like he doesn't exist and kind of push, you know, the regular narrative that for the most part, the Bible is a fairy tale. God and Satan are fairy tales and to come from the whole, for the most part, kind of the angle of uh, evolution and atheism and nihilism. But we're starting to see Satan mentioned a lot in the mainstream media. And this may very well be predictive programming to prepare people for the NWO, the B system, the Antichrist, and the Mark of the Beast, which is coming very soon. So I want to take a look at a couple of quick videos and images. So I want to start, and this is a video that I uh, played a couple weeks ago where this uh, professor from DePaul University in Chicago mentions the Antichrist on uh, Tucker, Carlson's, Tucker Carlson's show. So here we go. You take away our constitutional rights, our Bill of Rights, our Second Amendment, our First Amendment, our time-worn principles that we use to defend our way of life or Judeo Christianity. You're looking at systemic nihilism. You're looking at the Antichrist, as far as I'm concerned. You're looking at a. So there you go. He mentions the Antichrist. And you're looking at the Antichrist, as far as I'm concerned. Christianity. You're looking at systemic nihilism you're looking at the antichrist nihilism you're looking at the antichrist looking at the antichrist looking at the antichrist okay very interesting he mentions the antichrist so now i want to now i want to play a, a short clip from jason whitlock um on tucker carlson's show i believe this was last week um the week before last week, maybe. And he mentioned some similar things where he mentions uh, satanic practice. You're absolutely right, and you're absolutely right that fear makes every single human being irrational. Me, you, everybody. So I wonder what the long-term consequences of this are, apart from the one you just mentioned. Like, what, what kind of scar does this leave on the country if you keep saying stuff like this? Look, the number one thing you can do to prevent someone from reaching their potential is convince them that they can't and to convince them that the whole country is rigged against them. Therefore, why even try? Give someone an excuse not to be successful. Give someone an excuse to behave improperly when dealing with the police. It's how you ensure failure. I was brought up my entire life to go out and attack the world and anything was a possibility. That was the hope that was put in me coming. I was born in 1967. My parents lived through the civil rights movement. Our, their goal, their hope for me and my brother, my stepsister and stepbrother was for us to go out and conquer the world. We're now telling kids, you can't conquer the world. And so if you're a black kid competing against Asian kids, white kids, Latino kids, and you've been convinced, oh, the whole system's rigged against you, you can't succeed, and the other kids you're competing with are out there, well, the world's on a platter for me. If I just go out and attack it and work hard, I'm going to be successful. You have less of a chance of competing against your peers if your attitude and mindset aren't right. Attitude controls outcome. And I, why the Democrats... I, I, this is just, I'm just sorry, it's pure evil. It's its borderline satanic. If you... So he says it's pure evil and borderline satanic. This is just, I'm just sorry, it's pure evil. It's its borderline satanic. If you... And let's let him finish his thought here. You really have an understanding of yeah. religious faith, the principles taught in the Bible, why Jesus died on the cross for us. If God's on your side, how can you fail? I just, it's sickening. 
You know, what he mentions there is from Romans 8, 31, uh, if God be for us, who can be against us? So he's kind of quoting scripture there. What this message, and to see a major political party pump this message into the black community is really disheartening for me. Oh, you're, <laughs> you're making me emotional uh, listening to that, because I think you're so, I think you're... So he's, he's right on the money uh, about the uh the democrats using this message of fear and just beating people down particularly the black community to make you believe that you have no chance in this life and just beating you down with fear uh, this is just i'm just sorry it's pure evil it's it's borderline satanic uh, this is just i'm just sorry it's pure evil it's it's borderline satanic if you press it. This is just, I'm just sorry, it's pure evil. It's its borderline satanic if you press it. This is just, I'm just sorry, it's pure evil. It's its borderline satanic if you... So he says it's pure evil, it's borderline satanic. That's the truth. Now, Jason Whitlock, I don't really know about him. I'm very familiar with him. I, I was born in Kansas City and have lived in Kansas City most of the majority of my life. Uh, he used to write for the newspaper. He's a sports writer. He's an excellent writer, a uh, very sharp and intelligent guy. You know, I don't know if he's controlled opposition or if he's genuine. You know, he he's a pretty outspoken Christian, but on the other hand, he used to be... He used to talk a lot about needing more gun control uh, and uh, needing to get the guns out of people's hands. I don't know if he's still on that bag bandwagon or he's or if he's jumped off and and figured out that that's uh, a ploy to destroy the Second Amendment. So not sure on Jason Whitlock whether he's genuine or just totally controlled opposition. But anyhow, uh, very interesting how he's calling the. Uh, the methods of the Democrats satanic in terms of Black Lives Matter. And finally, I want to play uh, this clip, which was quite interesting, from the uh, Greg Gutfeld show on Fox News. I happened to catch this. This was uh, from a week ago. Uh, who said leftists can't be funny? I could watch that satanic version of Abbott and Costello forever. So he calls this uh, exchange between Julia Louise Dreyfus and Andrew Yang a satanic version of Abbott and Costello. That satanic version of Abbott and Costello. I could watch that satanic version of Abbott and Costello for me. I could watch that satanic version of Abbott and Costello. I could watch that satanic version of Abbott and Costello forever. So let's watch the rest of this clip, and this gets pretty weird here with where it goes from here. It's like a talent show two siblings throw for their parents' friends at bridge night. It sucked. Everything sucked. It and he is right on that. That DNC was just shamefully bad. It truly was one of the more awful things I've ever seen in my life. If only they made these sad speeches slightly more exciting. As Michelle Obama and Bernie Sanders warned us, if Trump is reelected, things will get even worse. That's why we need unity now more than ever. Division. Well, wasn't that interesting with Hillary Clinton? They, they dub in dragons breathing fire and burning her up. And, of course, we know in the Bible, Satan represents the dragon. If Trump is reelected, things will get even worse. That's why we need unity now more than ever. If Trump is reelected, things will get even worse. That's why we need unity now more than ever. If is reelected, things will get even worse. That's why. We really interesting. The, they dub in these dragons breathing fire on Hillary Clinton and burning her up. And of course, Hillary, she is destined for the lake of fire to burn for all of eternity. Unless she repents, and I certainly don't see that happening Unity now more than at this ever. point. Division, dysfunction, irresponsibility, and a growing vitriol between our citizens. Continuing to follow that path will have terrible consequences. Donald Trump hasn't grown into the job because he can't. 
Now, this is the so the Hillary Clinton clip was quite interesting, and this is the other one. Watch what they do with Bernie Sanders here. So they literally, you know, they literally dub in these huge demons. Nero fiddled while Rome burned. Trump Nero fiddled while Rome burned. Trump Nero fiddled while Rome burned. Trump golfed. Nero fiddled while Rome burned. Trump golfed while Rome burned. Trump golfed. Quite interesting. You know, it's obviously uh, Greg Gutfeld. It's kind of a comedy show, but there's an underlying truth there, maybe kind of forecasting and showing what's coming to the earth. I, I just found that to be really interesting. Um, you know, is there, I just have noticed this. They're starting to talk about Satan and Satanism and demonic things a lot more. So now we see this headline. This was, uh, I guess the paper was The Root, and it says, Satan slept, and what we learn now that the, that the RNC has ended, and it was mocking uh, the black people who spoke at the RNC, kind of calling them sellouts, you know, the typical you know, call them uh, Uncle Toms or sellouts or coons, uh, you know, the black conservatives, which is a usual uh, textbook play of the far left. But, you know, that doesn't really matter, the content. I just found it interesting. They mentioned Satan slept, so they mentioned Satan in this article. And then when I, I want to end just talking about the logo for the Democratic National Convention. So a lot of you may have noticed this already. This is the logo, the D20. And you probably noticed this with the pentagram and the design of the D, that if you turn this upside down, what does it represent? It perfectly represents the logo for Satanism with the, ups, the inverted pentagram, the Baphomet inside the circle. We see the bottom of the circle, and if you were to continue that circle, they've squared it off because it's a D, but if you continue that circle, you literally have the logo of Satanism. And I also found it interesting that, you know, if you just kind of look at the meaning of these symbols and words, you, you easily have death to America. You know, we've got this satanic logo representing death. Then you have the two in America, death to America. So anyhow, it's something to look for. I, I find it very interesting as we're starting to see Satan and the Antichrist mentioned a whole lot, very frequently in mainstream media. And this was something that these past few years, really up until 2020, I have not hardly seen it all. So some food for thought, some food for thought. So God bless everybody. Have a wonderful night and I'll talk to you real soon.